So we have the drawing and sketch, uh, sketching basics. This is an introductory track where you learn a lot more about proportions, value patterns, how to measure things from life as well as photography um, and represent them in realistic time. So really covering the, the basics of how light wraps around forms, form shadow versus cast shadow. Uh, they'll deal with everything from still life and as a good introduction from how to draw from life measuring it into good proportions. Uh, in the drawing and sketch and basics, they'll also deal with multiple still lifes. And as you see here, facial, facial features, breaking them into specific categories before they can get into more advanced things. A um, lot of different textural elements, a lot of different things of that nature, metals, glass, form basics, and different ways that they function. Uh, this is a very good class for uh, people that haven't really dealt with these before. Um, so if you're a new student in the middle school, high school range, and you haven't done much of this kind of stuff, this is a great foundational place to start, and it's a good gateway into the other classes. We also then can go to Quick Sketch with Watercolor. Now, Quick Sketch with Watercolor is a very good class, as you see, for landscape and color theory, a lot of really basic things of breaking down structures. It's um, based observationally, so it's a a class where you'll learn how to use watercolor in a very quick pattern using simple structures. Uh, it relates directly to some of the other classes in this, such as the perspective drawing class that I'll deal with later, but it's uh, about capturing things at a quick pace, the gesture of it, the, the general form, the and really getting it to communicate quickly so you can move forward into more specific pieces. Uh, it relates directly to capturing your idea at a quick pace that relates also to going to more advanced things into the future. So it's a very good skill to have, a very strong skill to have in your repertoire. Um, drawing and sketch of animals and pets. Um, this is a great place to go from the first drawing and sketch basics class. It's dealing with a lot of different textures. You start trying to communicate emotions through the animals. They also provide a variety of challenges. Um, I find personally that this is a good step between, say, regular basics and going into portraiture. Uh, there's a little less stress with drawing animals, I've found, even though the texture of them can be a little intimidating at times. Um, but it's a good, fun class, great portfolio pieces, great challenges come from it of capturing life and different textures in general. So it's a good place to start taking those sketch basics that you're taking and moving into this class. Um, definitely recommend doing the sketching basics before going into this. This is one step further from that. So, and it's definitely, all of this is charcoal. These are all student works, as you can see, much of very, very strong works. You can see the level that's coming out of them as they go forward. Um, we're gonna go to perspective and drawing architecture and interiors. Um, linear perspective, uh, these are two point and one point perspectives. It's a way to communicate three-dimensional space using measurement. It has a little bit of all converging lines and horizon lines. It feels a little bit like geometry when you're doing it, but only a little bit. So it's not too, too intimidating in that way. But you can see the depth that is created and it's a way of measuring space. This is another skill that I believe directly relates into say the watercolor skills. Understanding the principles behind this is a very strong thing coming into landscapes. It's a foundational skill. Um, if you are looking to go into doing more advanced things in the future, this is one that's definitely very important to you as you continue forward. Um, I also really like the use of color, watercolor that adds pen and ink. So there's a variety of mediums that are also used in this class. So drawing and sketch, sketching with pen and ink. Um, Sketching with pen and ink is actually one of the best ways to improve your observational skills. Uh, pen and ink can be quite honestly just unforgiving in many ways, but um, the fact is, is that it's one of the best things to use in sketching when you're sketchbooks, when you're drawing from observation, when you're drawing creatively. And one of the reasons that is, is because it shows your mistakes. You have to adapt to them, you have to address them. So you're constantly seeing what you are working on and you have to under and it will show you say a proportional thing or some small error of some kind so that you can address it i i feel that um if you want to see great improvement at a very very fast pace sketching quickly in sketchbooks is the way to go this class will cover how to do it at fast sketches and observational sketches it will also be dealing with 
a perspective, which is two of the ones that are out here are the examples. Um, but it'll also deal with the different ways of shading with pen and ink, which is very different than say the charcoal and pencil. There's textural elements to pen and ink and layers and ways of creating um, values is just a different uh, technique in general. And it will cover those different techniques it, as it goes. So it's a detail, there'll be everything from quick sketches to more detail oriented things as you see in the examples. Um, very, very good skill to have, to be honest with you. Sketching with pen and ink is something that everybody should really look into, especially to improve their observational skills. So portrait and figure drawing. This is definitely getting into the more advanced topics within drawing and sketch itself. A um, lot of different examples, wonderful teachers for this course as well. Uh, it's going to be dealing with how to break apart portraits, uh, plane changes, value systems, things of that nature for the portraits. There's a lot of complex technical skills that come into this and they're added to the skills that you've already learned from the drawing and sketch basics classes. And the other things all kind of culminate here. It's also dealing with figure drawing and how to get the gesture and proportions of the figure drawing at a reasonable pace so that you can add this to other things you're gonna do. If there's anybody who likes drawing characters or any of the things as we're gonna go further, this is a crucial class to what you're doing. It, everything in those the character design or anything of that nature you do is based on this. And this is also gonna be taken to much higher levels of fine art than detail, portraiture and realism. Uh, <clears throat> so, and I know that, uh, so it's gonna deal with gesture drawing. Are we? So I know we had live models for this, but the online, I believe we're probably going to go with photo models. I, that would be a question I would have to add to the mix. But, um, but you can see the really like the, the different levels of portraiture, the details that come into it. And it's going to dig into them at a much stronger level than any of the others. Um, so let's go forward into the open studio. So drawing and sketch open studio is as it says here, a customized program based on students' needs and levels. Um, so if you feel that there's something in your skill set that you need to work on and it's not being addressed, or you uh, definitely, have, this is one that we can talk to the student at the beginning of the camp and we create a clear direction moving forward. It deals with foundational skills. Um, most of it is going to be in charcoal, but it can be brought into the other mediums that have been mentioned ahead of time. And if there's a, say if you've taken other thing, other classes and you want to do more landscape drawing, you want to get deeper into some of these topics. So this can both be something where you want to strengthen foundational skills and introductory skills, but you can also really dig into some of the more advanced skills during these open studios and spend more time on something like a portrait or a landscape drawing. And where you may have only had one or two days before, you can really dig in for like five days and really learn a lot about how far they can be pushed. So there's a lot of customization here and it's based upon the student's skill level and need. And a, much of the time, as I've seen at students enter open studios, they're their improvement is extreme as they go through it because they really focus on things that they need to improve upon in the real time. And the assignments that are given are usually tailored, or not usually, they're tailor made to the student themselves and the things that they need to address. Um, this one is open all the time and it's all 